Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Integrator, and here we have Dave's Juno 106 with a brand new battery installed inside a battery clip, but of course it has absolutely no patch memory. So we've got Visor Juno 106 running on the computer with the patch set that we backed up earlier on in the day, and we're just going to put it all back inside the synth. Now, uh, on a modern synthesizer, a visor editor would be able to just simply with one click drop the entire bank but with the 1985 limitations of the Juno 106 firmware um, it's not quite so sophisticated so here's basically how it works uh, I've got I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna select any one preset okay and when I do this you'll see what happens is the little LEDs light up and what this is telling us is with my first click I'm selecting this preset and then the editor is dropping these settings for that preset to the edit buffer on the unit. Now what I need to do in order to make this part of the actual synth is I have to press right and while the right button is held down I've got to go one one. Now that's actually been loaded so if I choose patch one two that's now been loaded from the editor and I say right one, two, and it's going to be a little bit awkward, I think, because of the fact that these are bulky tack switches. But I'm going to run through the process now quietly, and uh, we'll just see how long it takes. It might take a bit long because of these buttons not quite behaving themselves. But um, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go over to the bank view on the editor. That way we can really see. Uh, no, we can't. We can't really tell. <laughs> so we're just going to have to. Uh, We'll go back to the patch view and we'll just go through here and see how long it takes. Okay, well that was a pretty long-winded operation, uh, but at this point now, what you'll see is we actually have uh, loaded up all of the presets on board this guy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, stop recording, I'm going to check them all using headphones to make sure they all loaded properly, and then we'll be right back uh, for some audio demo of what's going on. And uh, the reason there's audio demo possible is because I've actually put some chips inside, some voice chips inside this Juno from my collection. I basically have a couple of other Junos sitting by, so I just used one set of chips from them, uh, one of those, in order to be able to audition some sounds. So we'll check that out uh, in the morning light. So good night, everyone, and we'll see you in the morning. 